Okay, in today's video we're going to be showing how to make a, uh, a add-on instruction, just a simple version. Uh, basically, we're, in this first video we'll show how to make it. In the second video we'll show how to use it. Um, real quick, I'm using an emulator software. So I'm using the RS, um, RS Logix uh, Emulate 5000 chassis. So that's what I have chosen up here for my type. Um, I'll click my version. It's going to be version 20. And I'll put this as uh, add-on instruction. Add-on instruction. <clears throat> so that's what, and we'll be using the same slot, slot uh, one. We'll go ahead and create that. Okay, so now that our program is created, um, we're not going to change any of the tasks. We're not going to change anything of that nature. We'll just keep and do everything in the main program. What we will do is come down to add-on instructions. We'll click uh, new add-on instruction. <clears throat> then we're going to make this one. If you have a previous add-on instruction, you can just import it. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this one's going to be pretty simple. We're just going to like control the conveyor or a series of conveyors. So we'll put conveyor control and this would be our first revision so our first major revision and then at that point we can go ahead and click OK now at this point it will bring up your parameters and your local or your uh, <coughs> your description so we can put uh, uh, local <coughs> conveyor control Control for modulus All right, well basically we'll just put what well, we'll just it's for modulus program but we'll just put local compare control for right now, right now. Um, and as far as parameters um, that's where you want to put in any per, like tags you're going to pass uh, so we'll put start uh, push button or let's just let's call it push button let's go ahead and type it out and it's an input we're going to have it as a dent or a, uh, a bull and we want to make sure we have that visible so we'll click visible we'll also have the stop uh, push button And we're going to have that as a bool as well as an input. So just keep that in mind. And we'll stretch that out so you can see the full thing. We'll have an e-stop. Stop, push, uh, button. And we'll have that also as a bool. And we're going to make that visible. Uh, what we're going to do at this point <coughs> is we're going to have... Uh, Conveyor, yeah, I spell that right. Conveyor, uh, run, and then we'll have that is an output, and then we'll have this again is it's going to be a bool, and we'll make that visible as well. So at that point, that's our all of our tags that we're going to be passing back and forth so that um, that'll be shown up and we can put that into our, our uh, instruction. Now all the local tags are the tags that are not going to be associated with any kind of tag passing or anything of that nature. So um, we'll put uh, this would be like a OK to run conveyor and this will be a a bool and then we'll put basically we'll put a uh, delay to run and then we'll make this a timer okay so as far as that goes uh, we click apply we can open up the logic at that point and we can go ahead and make our program. So 
in this portion we want to go ahead and have we can have our e stop our e stop push button we'll have our start our stop push button and then we'll have what we'll do is we'll throw in some logic in here that says we'll put in the timer and this timer will be the delay on timer we'll put it for two seconds so 200 milliseconds then down here below we'll basically come down and say if the delay to time or delay to run is on if it's done then we want to cut on the OK to run bit All right so at this point we'll add a new ROM and we'll use the OK to run bit and then we'll throw in the start push button and in the start push button on the very back side of that we'll come in and use our conveyor run bit so if the e-stop is good and the, the stop button is let's just let's change this to <clears throat> if the e-stop is good and the stop button stop button is not pressed then the delay to run will time out and allow the conveyor the ability to run and then if the start button is pushed it will cut on the conveyor now this is our our uh, our AOI actually finished so that we can actually come in here at this point and go to add on instructions and incorporate it into the logic so at this point you know this is our our instruction we just made of course you so let's just go over this real quick if you open this up you can see that our parameters that we want to show right here um, so if we didn't want to show it we could change it and click apply right which it's going to show unknown right now right so if I want to delete it and add it again it will be correct so you see how that's influenced so again I want to show that um, that actual tag so what I'll do is I'll come back and apply it again it's going to show it and so you kind of get a visual of how the uh, parameters work as far as the the parameter for the in, the what we're looking for is the the input push button at stop push button the e stop push button and then the output is going to be the uh, conveyor run so if you have those visible they will be visible in your controls and the local all the local tags that we put in are not visible because they're not actually part of it now you could actually have those um, uh, if you had those in inside the parameters if you had the local tags inside the parameters you would still have to control them outside of the logic so you want to be able to control everything in your in internal into your AOI or your add-on instruction locally inside the, the ladder so if you open this up you can right click and hit open instruction logic then you can see that everything we don't want to actually control outside of of the um, you know we want to keep it all contained inside the, uh, the add-on instruction we we keep that as local tag so let's let's go back in and open this up again so in the parameters again that's the uh, e-stops and the, uh, the start button and that the the, the uh, conveyor run but in the local tags we don't want to have to control this outside of the AOI or the add-on instruction so we keep that uh, contained inside here so this will automatically work um, you don't have to feed it with a bit you don't have to feed it with an input or output or anything like that um, this will automatically work so uh, with that said um, now now that we have everything built uh, if you wanted to uh, if you want to use this on a different program or if you had one to import or export um, what I normally do is that once I have something made and I like it and I like the way it works is I export it and then when I export it um, I put it directly like I'll, I'll put it somewhere I can see it this would be on my, my desktop 
and therefore if I go to my desktop let's see yeah therefore if I go to my desktop you can see it's right here and I can just simply put it back whenever I want to um, so if if for some chance I just deleted everything I could just add it back simply so um, I'm sorry let's go back to let's go back to here so I can just add it back simply by doing that um, let's see let's delete this let's go in and delete this and let's come back in so now there's nothing in here so if I went right here and I try to go to add-on instructions you see no add-on instruction up here but if I come back and I actually um, import it if I import it right here then what you'll see is you'll come to where your wherever your input are the uh, import data is right that you want to import onto there so it's a, make sure it's a uh, add-on instruction make sure it's, it's going to be a dot uh, L5X you import it you can come down here and look at the routine look at the logic um, parameters you can change any of this if you want to uh, simply just do a search and find um, if you wanted to do that but uh, in our case we're not going to do that we're just going to create it so now it's back in here uh, logic is back in here and if we wanted to in our add-on instructions is back up here so if we wanted to add that back in there now we could just add it back in there so um, in this instance I wanted to show how to uh, build an add-on instruction um, you know make your own you know as far as coming in here and making a brand new one um, importing it if you had to exporting it if you had to if you want to use it in different areas you can look at tags uh, parameters and local tags if if you're on a version higher than 20 um, I believe in 27 or 26, maybe 27, they had it where you can actually use, uh, between programs, you can use uh, parameters and local tags. So you can actually, you know, use this a lot. It's a lot more versatile in, in the uh, newer stuff. But in, in this case, this is version 20, so um, we're only using tags, our parameters and local tags in our AOI. Um, in that case, you can look and see what you have. Um, you can look and, and see um, basically your data types, inputs, outputs, uh, local. And you can change it. Um, you can change the stuff if you need to. But the local right here, uh, remember the, the all the stuff that says local is the stuff that's contained inside the logic. So again, this tag would be local. This tag would be local. Um, and if you went back to parameters, again, the parameter tags are going to be obviously the start which is right here the stop which is right here the e-stop again right here and then the conveyor run so we could use all this and and uh, make our scenario run so again just make sure you have your parameters as your inputs and outputs and your local tags as your logic uh, are basically your internal logic that you don't have to pass anything through so if you were to open this back up you can see local input output um, and that's that's if you wanted to have this visible okay we don't have this visible it's read only um, you could make that visible if you wanted to and not have it enabled um, until you wanted to have it enabled um, but this can be used as an a uh, also be used as a function block as well so if you want to come in and add a new routine and change this to a function block and just say uh, function sorry about that function block AOI AOI um, add on instruction so we could go in here and we could just simply uh, click add on instruction and have that just like that and use it and tie in our input you know our, our inputs and, and it's the same visible uh, representation of up here except in this you're going to have to name it it, it automatically gets a, a name you can you can put it as, as whatever you want to but um it comes in you still have to tie in your inputs so you still have to come in here and you know tie everything together as far as that goes 
and we'll show that on the next video but I just wanted to quickly show um, you know how to make a uh, add-on instruction just a simple uh, input output uh, starter for like a, a conveyor or something so um, just to show how to make it and then the next video we'll show exactly how to use it and uh, kind of the versatility in it so this is basically for my program um, if you're you got a lot of conveyors you want to run you can make it as complex or as simple as you want to just note that it's best that you keep it in the line of sight so the first pass you you really don't want to scroll down when you're making add-on instructions because of the fact that you want to keep it nice and simple and clean uh, if you have to scroll down then it you know it gets a little bit more confusing for the, the person trying to troubleshoot it or look at it so you just keep that in note too um, but this shows you how to make a, a simple instruction how to import it export it look at input tags output tags uh, local tags, what they do, how to make the logic, and uh, again, we'll go ahead and uh, on the next video, I'll show you how to do it. And I'll link that video to the show notes below, and that way you can you can see it. And if you have any kind of topics or anything you would like to see uh, regarding this or, or more on this, then you can just simply just comment below and, and leave me a, a you know uh, suggestions and stuff like that, because I'm always looking for suggestions to try to make make programming a little bit easier or maybe you have some different ideas you want to see so um, again this is uh, a real quick way to, to do a, an AOI and uh, we'll go ahead and make the next video and uh, again I appreciate your time and hope everything's going well so uh, we'll have the next video coming soon